Uniform flow occurs in an isosceles trapezoidal channel with bottom of width 1.5 meters and top width of water surface of 2.5 meters and a depth of flow of 1.4 meters. If the bed and the sides are laid on a slope of 0.52 degrees and n is 0 0.013, determine the following. The discharge, the hydraulic depth, the unit tractive force. So let's draw the figure to help analyze the elements of the open channel. So bottom of width 1.5, water surface top width 2.4, and this is 2.4, and a depth of flow of 1.4 meters. So Discharge, Q equals area times V, area over N hydraulic radius to the two-thirds S to the one-half, where the area is one-half of quantity 2.4 plus 1.5 times 1.4. So area is 2.73 square meter. Then the wetted perimeter is 1.5 plus 2 times square root of 0.45 square plus 1.4 square. So this is 0.45, 2.4 minus 1.5, 0.9 divided by 2. So that's why it's 0.45 meter. So weighted perimeter is 1.5 plus 2 times the sloping side. So 4.441 meter. The hydraulic radius, therefore, is area 2.73 over 4.441. So that is 0.6147 meter. The slope is tangent of... 0.52 degrees. So tangent of 0.52 degrees is 0 0.009076. Substitute into the formula Q is 2.73 over 0 0.013, 0 0.6147 to the two thirds, then 0 0.009076 to the one half. So the discharge is 14.46 cubic meter per second. The hydraulic depth is simply the ratio of cross sectional area of channel to the top width. So area over capital B. So it is 2.73 over 2.4. So 1.138 meters. Then the unit tractive force is boundary shear stress, tau O, gamma, hydraulic radius times slope. Of gamma water hydraulic radius times slope. So 9810 newtons per cubic meter, 0.6147, then 0 0.009076. So it is 54.73 pascals. So that's it.